Welcome to Morfolio Trace. In this video, we'll learn how to work with 3D models in Morfolio Trace, learn how to import 3D models, set your views, sketch over 3D models with perspective tools, and then fly between sketches in the 3D model viewer. Let's get started. So what we're looking at right now is this sketch by Jim Keen, who is an incredible designer, and this was created in Morfolio Trace on top of a 3D model. And what's beautiful about this, uh, this feature in the app is that you can use this as a presentation tool. So once you have your model brought in, you can create amazing illustrations like this. And down at the bottom, there's the ability to jump to different views so your camera shifts around, flies around the scene, and presents all sorts of different incredible views of your project just by tapping on the button and jumping around just like that. So how cool is this? And you can see as we transition from one view to the other, you can actually see the 3D model. Um, and then you see you kind of zooming around in space and jumping to the next view, which is a really, really exciting, very cool uh, feature of this app. Now, uh, let's take a look at how you can set up your own 3D model. So we're looking at the home screen now, the project page. There's a button up here to start a new project with a 3D model, and if you tap on that, I've got a file that I've pre-made, um, and this is an OBJ file, but you can bring in all sorts of different files into Morfolio Trace now. You can bring in USDZ files, OBJ, STL, DAE, FBX, 3DS, the best types of files to add are STLs and OBJs. Those will give you the most stable import. So if you're ever working in any program, just uh, export an OBJ or an STL and you'll be all set up and ready to go. Before I jump into that though, I just want to say that if you ever run into a problem where a model isn't importing, it's really important to make sure that the model that you're exporting from your other 3D model software is uh, has only mesh surfaces in it. If you have other types of surfaces, if you're working in Rhino and you are uh, working with NURB surfaces, you'll want to convert those models into mesh surfaces to be able to uh, work properly and import that to the best of your ability inside of Trace. So once you find your view, you can pan around with your finger. Uh, you can use two fingers to pinch out, to pinch in. Uh, we'll set our view here. And we'll zoom it on around a little bit. And now I'm just gonna hit the green check and what it's doing is it's working and it's creating a Morfolio project. So now it opens you up, you're inside of your drawing space, which we're all very familiar with. Have your drawing toolbar over on the side. Just open up my, uh, my colors there. You have your layers over here. And automatically, what's so cool about this as well is you're automatically set up with your perspective tools. So your perspective tools have been set up to the world that you're set up in uh, from your model and uh, you're ready to start drawing. So. Maybe we'll add some lines, give a little bit of an outline here. Maybe we wanna modify this cube a little bit. So we'll drop it down here. We'll do a little bit of a cutout on the side here. Maybe an inset. Actually, let's keep drawing that. And as you can see also, we went over the perspective tool last week, but this is also a really amazing way to really quickly and really easily be able to uh, draw in perspective. And what's so great about this is uh, you had your 3D model and your perspective tool is already set up, ready for you to create the perspective that you need. Um, you don't have to set up your vanishing points. You don't have to set anything up else up other than that and uh, now we can kind of create this perspective and we'll just connect that line over there a little bit more so cool now we have this uh, new idea right we cut out a little bit of our, our cube
And uh, now let's go back to our 3D model by this little button up here. And you can see that my sketch is now on top of this view of the 3D model. If I move and pan, it disappears. And maybe I wanna take a more of a bird's eye perspective of this cube to get a different idea. And if I tap then a back on that sketch, you can see it, it uh, flies me back to that view and then it overlays the drawing on top. So that way I can go from view to view and you can keep adding infinite uh, different views of the, of the project, of the model. Uh, and you can tap from view to view and be able to see all of these different sketches. You can imagine if I have different iterations uh, or maybe I'm marking it up, so I'm actually just writing some notes on different parts and I wanna make a note about this side, but I also wanna make a note about this side. You can do all of that um, and then hand this file off to another member of your team and they can pick it up and have all of these notes and red lines right there in your, uh, in your space and it's all set up ready to go. So it's a super powerful tool. Again, you can use all your drawing tools on top of it. You can use your roller brush to add fills if you wanna do something like that to different sides. You can uh, use your pencils and pens, your stencils that are all here as well and uh, be able to access those. And uh, super, super powerful tool. This is a project by Joshua Jones, which we've looked at before, but uh, I don't know if anybody knew that it was actually drawn on top of a 3D model. And if we go back, you can see there's all these different views on the bottom, and especially this one view that Joshua drew on top of to create this incredible this uh, section perspective. Um, and if we go down to his layers over on the right, you can see underneath it all, if we turn everything off, that at the base is just a 3D model, uh, basically a screenshot from inside of Dragonfly that he then built up uh, really, really beautifully with all these different layers. He added a plan down in the bottom and created this incredible sketch um, using Dragonfly and the power of bringing in 3D models into Morfolio Trace. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out our other how-to videos.